This is the local Memphis Live with Yvette and Lauren. Well, good morning. I'm Yvette Whiteside. Thank you for joining us today. Here on Local Memphis Live, Lauren is out. But 941, the Wolf's Marty Brooks is joining me again today as my co host. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How yeah, are you? I'm doing just fine. You know, another good day here. Yes, excited to have you Thanks back. Thanks for having and me. I'm also excited about McDonald's today. Oh, I know. No more racing to beat the morning clock to grab a sausage McMuffin, a biscuit, or hot cake. No, not at all. All day <laughs> breakfast debuts today at McDonald's. It's a move to try to boost those sagging sales they've had lately. And a response to competitors ramping up their morning menus. Seriously? Oh, this is amazing. I, when the show is over, it's <laughs> over right at 10. I'm like racing out of here and, to go get the breakfast. Even, but you think about like weekends. I mean, sometimes you might not roll to bed till 11 o'clock. Yes. And there's the mornings right. where you have the late starts and well, breakfast is over. I know. And then lately here, we've been having meetings right after the show. So I'm like, <laughs> I can't get any McDonald's, but it, 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 kudos to McDonald's. It is in about time because my problem usually is uh, I can't remember what time they stop serving. <laughs> right. So then you're like, I think it's 10 or 1030. And by the time you're like, oh, I'm, yeah, it's yeah, over. Yeah, I don't care. I, I'm yeah. Yeah, you yeah. pull up. Are you guys still serving no. breakfast? No, ma'am. No. Uh, it's noon. Yeah, and you're like, oh, all right. Well, right. I'm number one. Um. <laughs> well, coming up today here on Local Memphis Live, ladies, we'll be talking to comedian, reality TV star, Jenny McCarthy, who will explain why your look should evolve with your career. Plus, Fred Astaire Dance Studio will be here to perform a number using the same style as Dancing with the Stars. And our cameras will be live from the Humane Society to let you see what pets are available for for adoption. Well, today is a big day for Memphis Grizzly fans. They are gearing up for their preseason opener. Yep, it's all going down tonight at the FedEx Forum. Local 24's Jamie McGriff went there to see just how quickly tickets are selling. If you're looking for specific seats for tonight's game, good luck. Fans like Eric Moon will have to settle for what's left, but he's coming out to support the Memphis Grizzlies this season. I'm expecting, you know, finals. A big, you know, championship for us to bring it home this year. The Grizzlies have come a long way. Yeah, I'm proud of what they've done. You know, Collins is back, he's healthy 100%. Zach and, you know, Mark, you know, they're going to do their thing, you know, with the coach. We got a bag up, we got a good, you know, second string. Grizzlies point guard Benno Udra is looking forward to seeing the fans. We're really excited to go out there and play. And, you know, hopefully it's going to be a good turnout, even if it's a preseason. We always like the fans to show up, you know, because they are our six men, you know, so we're excited. You can count on these young ladies to be there. So what do you think about the whole season, the hype and everything? I'm ready for the season. Yeah, because like how the win was going last year, I think it's going to be good this season. Game organizers say ticket sales are on a great pace. The lower bowl and plaza level should be sold out on a season ticket basis by opening night. There's still a handful of seats left, but either way, we're going to be at a franchise record for season ticket sales, which is a great start before our first game. Jamie McGriff, Local 24. Tickets for tonight's preseason opener against the Houston Rockets are on sale online and downtown at the Forum's box office. Yep, and tip off against the Rockets is at seven o'clock. Do you get it to the? Do you get out to the you, Grizzlies? I game? love going. You know, it's it's a lot of fun, and there's a, such a vibe when you step into the Forum. There is. I'm telling you, it's unlike any other basketball arena in the country. It's so much right. fun. The so. entertainment. Oh, the it's food. great. You almost don't even have to be a basketball fan to no. enjoy yourself. No, and if That's you aren't a basketball like. fan, when you go to the game, you'll be a basketball fan. That's right. just the way. Go. So uh, I cannot wait for grit and grind this Me year. Me neither. Well, the undefeated Memphis Tigers will take on the Ole Miss Rebels live right here on Local 24. Yep, the game is Saturday, October 17th at the Liberty Bowl, and kickoff was announced yesterday to be at 11 o'clock right here on Local 24. And Tiger Blue is going green. The University of Memphis will host an environmental awareness event today to highlight projects underway at the university. Now, this is a video from last year's event where campus and community partners demonstrated their eco-friendly efforts. Yep, today's exhibition will be held on the Student Plaza from 10 this morning until 2 this afternoon. The event is free and is open to the public. I love what they're doing over there. Well, folks lined up to have their copies of My Life with Dogs signed by 11-year-old Jordan Marie. Not bad for a rookie author. Not at all. Oh, and then Local 24's Brandon uh, Artels, he was there to see what happened with the local cool kid. Quite an accomplishment. This Mid-South girl is using the power of writing to cope with her own personal struggles while helping animals recovering from abuse. Precocious 11-year-old Jordan Marie bringing the words she has written to life from her new book, My Life with Dogs. 
I decided to write this book because I wanted to show my love for dogs and to hopefully inspire others who have the same passion. Her writing debut celebrated at this special reading and book signing at Russo's Pizza in Germantown. The young lady penning those words to give a voice to those that don't have one. There was times in school when I was getting um, bullied a little bit and then I realized that dogs get bullied too. That's why half the proceeds for every book sold will go to Humane Society of Memphis in Shelby County to help them take care of abused animals. For Jordan, she's simply repaying the favor, considering all the love furry friends <laughs> like her Yorkie Bella have given her. They've helped me get through um, my parents' divorce. Um, they've helped me get through some school problems. Tough times that Jordan knows many can identify with. So she's spreading the word about how a pooch as pint-sized as Bella can make a big difference. And she'll just come and lay with me and cuddle with me and it'll just bring my mood up 100%. Tim Morgan of First Tennessee Bank in Paws Ice Cream Truck helped Jordan put that reading and signing on. To buy her book, we provided a link in this story on our website, localmemphis.com. If you know of a cool kid we should meet, email us at coolkid at localmemphis.com. Send a message to our Local Memphis Facebook page or tweet. Use the hashtag coolkid. I'm Brandon Artilles, Local 24 News. Thank you, Brandon. So proud of Jordan so Maria. Cool. I'm still working on my picture book. So, <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah, yeah, She's still already working an author. Really Look how yeah. young she is. I don't even have a book out. Well, Local Cares is a proud exclusive television sponsor of this year's American Cancer Society's Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk. Please join us Sunday, October the 25th at 3 p.m. at the Liberty Bowl. Yep, help finish the fight against breast cancer. Now, we posted a link to the registration in the Find It section of LocalMemphis.com. Well, in today's Hot Topics, an unusual evening at Dancing with That's the Stars. That's what I hear, yeah. I guess I was in baby news, some tears, and elimination. Here's George Panincio to tell us and explain all about it. Gary and Anna. 71-year-old Gary Busey stayed in the competition for four weeks. He says he doesn't need a mirror ball trophy to feel like a winner. The mirror ball trophy is useless. What works is when you dance from your heart and you achieve an accomplishment on the dance floor with a beautiful partner that's choreographing and making you be the best you can. You can't deny that. You know what the mirror ball is? It's like going to a carnival and throwing a ball and knocking over three milk bottles. Among the teams still going for the prize, Bindi Irwin and Derek Huff. They had the evening's highest score, 28 out of 30, and the first 10 of the season for a contemporary routine dedicated to her late father. It wasn't just for me, but it was for dad too and for my family, so it meant a lot. It really did. Three teams scored triple nines. Tamar Braxton.